MMA Weekly comma Worthy is going to do what he's got to do at UFC 260 when UFC Lightweight comma Worthy looks back on 2020, the thing that most comes to mind for him was how fortunate he ended up being. No matter how difficult the year was, he was still able to fight. Though things didn't always go his way, the fact that he was able to compete multiple times put him in a much better spot than many other fighters. I think it was just an experience, Worthy told MMWeekly.com. I feel grateful that I made it through, because a lot of people weren't as lucky. I only had two fights, though I would have liked to get in four fights a year, but I still got to get two fights. Everything being shut down, trying to find training partners and everything, it was an experience. In addition to being able to fight last year, Worthy was able to keep his individual training going even when the ability to work with others was virtually eliminated. I own my own gym so I never stopped for my training, said Worthy. But it was still difficult to get training partners. My game is always evolving. In this sport you're either evolving or dying. I'm a different fighter every fight. Comma Worthy. UFC 241 Way in Kama Worthy faces Jamie Malarkey at UFC 260 on March 27 in Las Vegas, Worthy, 16-7, will look to get back on the winning track when he faces Jamie Malarkey, 12-4, in a 155-pound main card bout at UFC 260. Dana White announces UFC 261 to house full house of fans, three title fights, he's a tough guy, Worthy said of Malarkey. He's 0-2 in the UFC, so he's fighting for his job. I feel like if you're 0-3 in the UFC you're going to get cut, so he's on his way out because I've got to do what I've got to do. I know for sure he's going to come out ready for and that's exactly what we're set for. If the last year has taught him anything, Worthy feels it's best to just follow where the path leads him in 2021 rather than try to force things to happen. In COVID times you've just got to go with the punches, said Worthy. You can't spend too much time planning things out. It sucks that my career started then COVID kicked in, so I'm just rolling with the punches.